Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. You know what that means. It is market outlook time. We're going to take a look at this upcoming week of FIFA Ultimate Team and what we could possibly see in terms of content, in terms of stuff in game. And of course, we're going through the headliners promo right now. So we're going to talk a lot about these cards, a lot about the prices. A lot of people are curious about when are these cards going to be their lowest. Obviously, this is set one of two of the headliners that is going to be coming out. And I want to talk about that coming up this week as well. I want to talk about the SBCs because we are getting an SBC right now every single day. Whether it's a flashback, whether it is a, um, a headliner SBC, or a moments SBC. Today we got player moments Kenny Lala on Sunday. We got this card. And I honestly thought today we weren't going to get any content. But I think what EA is realizing right now is they're realizing that the high rated market, we're talking like um, the SBC fodder kind of market, anything that it's like 85 and above, a lot of those cards are inflated. 86s are 18K, those are up. 85s are 10, 11K, that's up. 87s are up 5K a card. 88s are up like 6, 7K a card. And 89s are up almost like 8 to 9K a card from when they, where they were at the end of team of the year. So a lot of people that have been asking me, are these players gonna be investable at all this week? I honestly think no. I don't think these players are going to be that investable at all this week. And if they do become investable, that just means that there was some crazy panic or crazy supply put on the market. I think these cards are going to remain high all week because people have coins in this game right now. And when people have coins, they do SBCs. And I think that's what EA is really taking advantage of right now. They know people have coins. They know these SBCs are players that people want to do, right? They're, they're releasing quote unquote, good value SBCs for like an upgradable item of Adama Traore, which is a fan favorite so far this year. Make it an upgradable card and people are all about it, right? This SBC was pretty well priced. Rare position, left wing Syria. A lot of people have done this SBC. I think a lot of people are going to do Lala just because of the fact that he is, um, the, his card from last year, French links are massive in this game. And we don't really have a French uh, right back other than Malquit whose SBC was during Footmas. So I think a lot of people are going to do this one. Uh, and of course, you have the Smalling SBC, which I have finished. Uh, and that one's like the ultimate good value out of all these, in my opinion. But because they've released these SBCs, I don't see any stop to SBCs coming through the rest of this week. I mean, I feel like there's probably going to be one day or so where they lay off. I thought that it was going to be today on Sunday, honestly, because first day they released Alexis Sanchez and Adama Traore, which usually when they release two SBCs one day, that kind of allows them to take a day off later in the promo where they maybe aren't releasing SBCs every day, but they have kept at it and they had Lala today. So I would expect some point during this week that we would not receive any SBC on some day. Um, we're also getting these uh, the challenge SBCs as well. Let me go find this really quick right here. Where is it at? It is the headliners challenge. So we are getting these SBCs every day for a pack reward. Those are cool. They bring packs to play on the game. We like those because they did not run lightning rounds for these uh, headliner cards today. And that honestly was a big surprise to me that there were no lightning rounds for these cards on Sunday today. Um, because usually when they have a promo, they run Thursday, they run Friday, Saturday, Sunday lightning rounds on the promo weekend. And then stuff happens maybe with pack SBCs during the, the week after the weekend where they do get supplied still on the market, but these cards only having two sets of lightning rounds in them is gonna keep them pretty rare. And I think EA wants that and EA realizes that they want these cards to be pretty rare. And you're gonna make me, uh, I'm starting to kind of form some references with these cards and kind of compare them to other cards we've already had in this game. The I think these cards are really gonna mimic Road to the Final cards with some of their market movements in this game. I think that these cards are kind of high right now. They're probably going to rise out of packs a decent amount, depending on the card, depending on you know the upgrade possibility, how that team is doing, how that player is doing, stuff like that. It's going to be different on a card-by-card -card basis, but I do think these cards will rise out of packs. Some of them might stay the same. Some of them might even drop. Um, but then I think there's going to be a point where they start getting upgrades and they start going down like road to the final cards do when they get the upgrades for their team advancing in the champions league they oftentimes drop so i want to look at some road to the final cards today and maybe kind of set an example in your mind and talk more about this just a little bit why i think these cards are going to going to look like this and i know a lot of you guys want to buy these headliners and we're going to talk about possible buy times throughout the week this week but this is something i do want to mention 
Edir Militao, obviously when he was in packs, 435,000 coins. I don't think you're going to see a rise like this on some of the headliners because we're just later in the game, right? Some people stop and they quit the game after team of the year. Uh, and, you know, these cards are going to get upgraded. It's cool, yes. Um, but these Road to the Final cards just had a ton of time to rise, right? This was before Black Friday. He went up into Black Friday, kind of stalled right during that time period, and then went up even further after that. So, again, and then when he got his upgrade, when these Road to the Finals got their upgrade, they went down a decent amount. So that's kind of how I feel like these, um, especially like a guy like Neymar, right? We're getting closer and closer. And especially if these guys aren't going to be getting their four wins in a row until almost February at the very earliest. Actually, I think February, beginning of February is the earliest time that some of these guys can actually get their four in a row upgrade, right? So like Neymar is 4.2 million right now. Um, is he going to hold that price? I do not think so. Um, so when we're talking about buy times for these cards, I always feel like we're in that sort of the game where everything starts to turn downhill, right? We're after team of the year. Yes, we have promos that put coins onto the game, but we're going to be starting to in that downturn of the year for FIFA and stuff like that. EA will still release content and lots of cards in the game, but, um, I do think that these are going to trend downward. Um, not for the rest of the game. There will be definitely times where they spike, where they ebb and flow just because of the fact that they're live items, right? But, um, you know, there's a lot of things that I think could affect these cards, especially the really upper tier ones. But I do feel like some of these cards are investable in as well. Um, but yeah, the big thing, the comparison I want to make with these in order to the finals is I think that they're going to drop when they get their upgrade, right? Because if you think about it this way, Salah right now is 1.7 million coins, which I think is too expensive. He's actually dropped down a little bit today. He's like 169 right there, 169 for a 93 rated Salah. Yes, Liverpool is got one game right now in a row in, the, in their consecutive wins that he needs to get that upgrade to a 94, correct? He's probably going to get that upgrade to a 94 sooner, uh, you know, four, four weeks ends from now when Liverpool will get that fourth win in a row and he will get upgraded to a 94. What's going to happen after that is his card is only reliant on in-form upgrades, right? Once you get that plus four wins and you get that upgrade, I think you're going to see a drop off in price because there's just going to be, okay, he got the upgrade. Now he's not going to be getting more upgrades unless it's a team uh, or an individual base performance, right? So I think the price of the team getting the four wins in a row is really built into a lot of these cards right now. Um, now, there are a few of these that I do think are pretty solid investments that I would recommend or at least think about getting in on them this week. And when we're talking about a buy time for some of these these cards as well, Tellez right now is 230K. I'm a fan of this card because I think he's kind of flying under the radar, right? If you look at this Tellez, let's take a peek at his graph. Flippin says he is 233K right now which is kind of where he's been chilling at. Even on Friday, first day, he was like 230. So this isn't a type of car that's been all over the place. He's kind of stayed kind of chill and kosher around the 230K range. 228 at one point today. Um, if this guy gets one upgrade, which Porto was playing fantastically right now in uh, the Portuguese league. Uh, so in the league knows, they're playing really, really good. They are on form. They're second in the table, but they got a lot of wins and I think they can string four together. This card with an upgrade probably goes to 90 pace, 90 passing, goes above 80 physical, goes to like 88, 89 dribbling maybe, and then the 85 defense. So this card with an upgrade is going to look fantastic. He's going to have really, he needs that strength upgrade, right? He really needs the strength. Um, and then his card's just honestly going to look fantastic once he gets that upgrade. He's high, high, he's Brazilian. He's going to be the best non-icon. So basically not Roberto Carlos um, or Zambrata maybe left back in the game in my opinion so there's going to be a lot of eyes on this card especially with a little four five one formation you could put neymar on the left side link it to telez and just get an icon center back or a brazilian center back to link to telez and i think this card's going to get a lot of attention if they can win that four in a row so maybe a card i know again i mentioned that the four in a row wins is kind of down the road a little bit of a ways but this is the type of card that I do think has a possibility to rise out of packs just because his upgrade is going to turn him into some new stat categories with two of his stats going from the 80s to the 90s, which is huge for a card on this game. So, and if people would pay last year for Alexandro's headliner, people were paying 500K. I know we had the Ronaldo link to, to them, to that card last year, and that, that linkage was a lot more popular than it is this year. But 
this card around the 200,000 coin range. If there is pack supply later this week, and I really think that's what we're hoping for, as at least me, I'm hoping for some pack supply later this week on these uh, headliner cards to make their prices drop a little bit. And especially a lot of people are targeting the weekend league rewards period for a buy time on these cards. But if we're looking long term, um, there is a possibility of other events coming this next week and maybe in like two weeks in this game. Because remember, this is a two week promo. This is a two-week promo. Lewandowski right now at 797, kind of where he's been chilling. But again, just a reminder, this is a two-week promo. We've had a couple of promos like this already this year um, that have been two-week promos. And the second week is always less. Um, the players are less valuable, like the name. Like, how are we gonna how are we gonna top this set of players in the second set? I honestly think we're don't. We don't. There's no possible way that we can get players in the second set that will be just as good as the players in the first set. So that's another reason why I think these guys, a majority of these guys, will rise in that first week out of packs. Although I am a little bit scared. And again, that's talking about next week's content. But uh, we'll talk about that if we don't have it then. But there's an SBC that is probably going to be coming out in the next few days. Not probably. It's just a maybe. Um, but the the baby icon SBC. The baby icon SBC is expiring, and this has led a lot of people to think that the um, middle icon SBC is going to come out really soon after this one expires. 15 hours remaining on this one at the time of my recording. It goes away Monday, 6 p.m. UK. Is the middle icon SBC going to come out before the middle icon um, pack is available through icon swaps? I don't think so. That's why I think that uh, we won't have to deal with this for a little bit of time. But it is something to keep in mind if EA wants to keep that Icon SBC there to keep the demand high for the high rateds. I don't think many people are doing that anymore. I think they're doing the player SBCs, but we'll see what happens to high rateds after um, the, that baby Icon SBC goes away today when you log on to foot. So again, the rise out of packs of these headliners, I think is just going to be really based on a position. I think there's a few of these that I'm a, I'm a really big fan of. Not sure Nyan Golan is one of them. I don't know if he's really going to be in line for another inform, but I really like Sansone. Um, I really like Saul. I like I like the cheaper guys, to be honest. I really am a fan of some of the cheaper guys. If we go take a look at the squad, I'm a fan of Sansone because, you know, you get him an upgrade or two, and then boom, he's a massive, massive card. Um, you get uh, even Vardy getting an upgrade right now. Since Rashford is not going to be getting any more informs because he's out for a while, that's a big card. Tomato, I think, is a big card. Tellez is a big card. A lot of the lower rated ones and lower priced ones, in my opinion, are going to be the ones that are a bit better, of course, because I think some of the the four, like the upgrade, people are pretty sure that Neymar, that Salah, Lewandowski, they're pretty sure that those guys are going to get four wins in a row, right? So they think that kind of price and them getting into that four game period, the consecutive where they get the plus one for the team wins that is kind of built into their price right now, I do think. So watch those cards this week. Again, for a lot of these, I'm targeting a Thursday price. If you want to buy a fresh one, you're going to stick it in your team for the rest of the year. For most cards, I would say you can do that on Thursday if you really, really want to, at least for the next week or so. This Neymar card, I think I might stay away from because of this exact picture right here. Messi team of the year is at the same price now or even cheaper than what Neymar is. And this is the thing that really baffles me with these cards. And a lot of people are saying these headliners are not overpriced. I think they are. I really, really think they are because think about it this way, man. This is Messi's best card that he will get in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. Is this the best card that Neymar is going to get in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team? For the, for the next couple months, yes. But once team of the season comes, this card is now its second tier, to be honest. Even if Neymar gets another inform, they get the four wins in a row, and he's a 96, maybe even he gets two special cards, and he's a 97. This might not be the best rating of his card. They could give him a 98 team of the season if they would so wish to do so later on in the year. So the, I think that this, this was today tweeted out by one of my mods in the Twitch stream. His name is Archibald. This to me was just an eye opener. Like this, this uh, inflation on these headliners cards is just is just too much in my opinion. I think it's the card design, the fact that they do get that team upgrade, and that they're just new and people have a ton of coins right now in this game because we're post team of the year. So I do think I see a lot of these guys dropping when they get that team upgrade because once that upgrade is gone, they're no longer available to get that plus one right 
Once that upgrade is gone, a lot of the price that is built into them being a live item, I think, drops down a little bit. So that's a lot of my talk on headliners. Um, and I'll talk more about that as we go throughout the week and we'll look at specific buy times and stuff like that on these cards to see if we do get some some panic or some sort of SBC on some day that causes those cards to go low and stuff like that. So we'll talk about those. Again, these SBCs, I think Adama Traore, I'm waiting to do that SBC because I think there's a possibility that we get upgrade packs this week. Other stuff that is coming this week, we're probably going to get another League Un Player of the Month Friday morning. It could be Ben Yedder, it could be Neymar. I'll probably, I'll hopefully have a video for you guys coming later this week, looking more into that situation, into the voting, stuff like that. We still have Timo Werner and Trent Alexander-Arnold here, and we have Suarez that is technically around in here as well. But other than that, this week, I would expect just more of kind of the same promo stuff. Maybe another objective player. I feel like we're getting one objective player per week, though. Um, we have play of this week and it, it expires in four days. So I would not expect another objective player. Maybe, maybe just maybe one, um, but then a, probably a new one for the second set of headliners. And I was, I know some people are worried that these headliners are going to get put back into packs. The first set back into packs, like at the end of the second set, I, I don't see that coming really. I really don't see that coming. Um, but I do, I do want to jog your memory back to some of the other promos we've had in this game, like with Scream cards, right? Scream cards and Road to the Final are our other two-week promotions. And what we saw with the second week for both of those Road to the Final and for Scream was we saw coins on the game uh, for the second set. And that first set rose out of packs because they were new cards and the promo packs from that promo um, put coins on the market and made those cards rise in game. So... That's another reason why I think these headliners are going to rise a little bit in the next week. It's just because of their new cards. People want to try them and there's going to be a second set out. And when people see the second set is not as good as the first one, I do think you could see a rise on some of those cards from the headliner set one. But again, the buy time for the headliners is when, when is the big number one question. So we'll see what happens with those. Of course, if we do get a Ben Yedder player of the month and they value that cheap and they want to create some panic on the market, you might see a drop in some of the headliner cards as well. So we'll be looking at some of the SBC card prices, of course. Uh, but, you know, if they value, um, if they put out Ben Yedder at a certain value, since the SBC fighter is inflated, it's going to be interesting to see how that end up, ends up getting priced. But SBC fighter is expensive. That's not really a good investment. If we'll take one look at the team of the week right now, these cards did not get supplied that much this week either. Just for the fact of the matter that there was not many lightning round packs opened on Sunday. They only had two days of lightning rounds. Rashford for me, he was 300K after rewards. It was extinct at 210 first day. I bought two of them at 190 tonight. I know it's a very popular investment from this week's team of the week. I'm a fan of that card. I'm a fan of record breaker Aguero around 550 or under if you can on that card. And Mara's at like 120 if you can. So if we see any other panic on the team of the week at all this week, I'm talking like on Monday or Tuesday, that could be an opportunity for an investment as well. But most stuff in the game right now is just high, right? You're not going to see me investing in a lot of stuff this week, except for Thursday flips. Didn't mean to click on my team, but you're not going to see me investing much stuff. I'm just going to be flipping cards because right now flipping icons is great. Flipping informs and out of pack specials is great. Getting on the bids at nighttime and watching these cards fluctuate is great. And also watching the panic selling of SBCs that come out, right? So today we had the Lala SBC and that dropped the price of Kyle Walker and Nelson Semedo a little bit. All it takes is one more SBC to come out during this promo and some of the other headliners could take a hit, right? Just kind of thinking along the lines, like if they drop a, um, I don't know, maybe like a, a Ramos SBC, not saying that that's likely, but maybe it happens. Maybe they drop a striker Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Maybe Mertens gets panic sold a little bit because of that. Just putting some ideas out there. So this week, I do expect more player moments, flashbacks, and headliner SBCs. Maybe one more headliner. Just just one more. Uh, because we've already gotten two with Traore and Smalling. So maybe just one more. And then another flashback, another moments at some point during the week. And then one day without an SBC. And then hopefully upgrade packs at some point too. Because that would be pretty fun. I want to kind of craft these SBCs as well. And yeah, the headliner promo this week, again, should be just a really high market. A lot of people paying really high prices for cards. There should be some panic in some areas of the market. and It should be a fun time to trade, especially when these SBCs are coming out at 6 p.m. UK. A really good way to trade with some of these is watch the panic selling. So like a, let's say a center back that is French comes on. Maybe Varane gets panic sold. Other center backs in the game get panic sold. 
watch the links and in, in link investments to those as well, because we saw some link investments really go up for the smalling SBC because it was good value. So if we get another good value SBC that is a popular player, it's going to be easy to link. Um, getting some of those link investments to those cards could be a really great shout for some trading movement and trading methods this week. But we're in the middle of the headliners promo week one, set one of these cards and we'll have set two on Friday. I would expect more of the same stuff that we've seen this week. Again, it's been a pretty solid promo in my opinion. Uh, for people of all budgets so far with this headliner promo. I'm excited to see what happens through the rest of this promo and through the rest of this week. If you have any questions, put them down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. That's your market outlook for this week in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.